to Brigashaw Ferguson, 10 years a Jet, their left tackle, abruptly announced his retirement this past weekend. So the Jets turn around and they acquire Ryan Clady from the Denver Broncos. Gentlemen, a left tackle who was once an All-Pro but now has been an injury-marred type player in recent seasons. Will the gamble pay off for the New York Jets? Mark Sessler. Well, I think it's the best chance for them to seamlessly put a veteran in as, to, as opposed to making this a absolute burning draft need. Clady, though, I mean, it's a mystery. We don't know what we're going to see on the field, but... Past history tells us he can play the role. Four-time Pro Bowler. I, I think, like Mark said, it you, you're not prepared for one of your best players to walk off into the sunset. So in a couple of days' time, they turn around and fill the hole with the best available option. I think that was a nice job by the GM. Yeah, I agree. I think it was a low to medium risk signing and a high reward. But I also wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't make the team and that they just threw $3 million away because this is a guy who missed an entire season with a Liz Frank sprain, played a season where he was okay, not great, and then tore his ACL. So he's not the all-pro that he was at the beginning of his career. Yeah, it's important to keep on the compensation. They gave up a fifth-round pick. They get back a seventh. Um, and then they restructured the deal, so it's one year, six million up to, with three million guaranteed. And to uh, to me, for the Jets, considering the the bind they were in, were in when Ferguson announced the retirement, I think it's the right move for a win now team. When you look at the roster, to get a guy in and, and hope it works out the same way a year ago when the Jets traded for Brandon Marshall, same exact terms where they gave up a fifth round pick. Uh, and got a seventh rounder back, and hope that worked out. It did. Big Max uh, looking to to roll the dice and it have well, it come up again. You said it because the Jets fans most most recently lived through the glacier, where if this happened maybe got three it. years later, you signed someone. McCagnan at least is shown to be aggressive. He goes out, he makes moves, and he they don't overspend. People thought to get Clady would have cost more. This was this cost them nothing. If Mikey McCags is ever uh, feeling a little blue, hey, Big Mac. a little down in the dumps, he should just listen to the Around the NFL podcast because we're always just blowing sunshine up. Old well, he's Mikey been McCags. good, Greg. Sorry. Hey, this, hey, you know, uh, you're a Patriots fan. I get it. And the Jets <laughs> don't win anything. They didn't even go to the playoffs last year. But almost everything he did last season turned to gold. Yeah, well. So, and this has been a more trying offseason. They have salary cap issues. Ryan Fitzpatrick still not signed. And you wonder if some of this Monday money that's around now goes to Fitzpatrick. We shall see. Got to get him. But for now, the New York Jets have a left tackle, and they hope he can stay healthy. Check out the Around the NFL podcast three times a week.